And we're really happy to be here. So I've got everything sorted now in grades. So which ones are the kindergartens? Raise your hand if you're a kindergartner. All right. Are you a stop way to this? Well, congratulations. All right. Give a big hand. Stand on one first place. Stand on one first place. All right. And then we have Is he here? Not here. Okay, so I'll give you that one. Okay. Do we have Natalie Losa? Congratulations. Natalie Hector. Alright. So now we have the first grade. We have Shantega Johns Thompson. Not here? Didn't hear you. Okay. Eva Lopez? Is that thank you? Okay. Congratulations. Congratulations. Now we have the second grader, Kelly Branson. Is that yeah. you? Okay. That's you. Jason Sandoval. Here you go. Congratulations. And basically what it says on the certificate, so you know, it says, for example, the next one is Emily Torres. Okay. And it says, in recognition of winning second place in the Wilsona School District 100th Anniversary Book Bar Contest. This award is a testament to your hard work as a dedicated student. Congratulations and best wishes for your future endeavors. And we go. And now we have a fifth or third. I did that one next, okay. Third grade, here we go. All right. Jared Lopez, raise your hand. All right. Julian Arana. Arana. Yes. Right here. Okay. Claudia Gonzalez. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. That was third grade, fourth grade. Thank you, sir. Arturo Soto. Right here. Nathan Wade. All right. Okay. okay, our overall winner is Claudia Serenity Gonzalez in the third grade. Were made for all of the students at Vista San Gabriel with Claudia Lepard, and we have some extra ones here, so I wanted to ask Claudia, would you like to pass them out to the audience? Yeah. Give them all a big round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All of them were honored at the last board meeting and received gift cards. Um, uh, it's in recognition of their hard work. Now we have. The banner contest for the Challenger Middle School. I want this to start to explain how the banner contest works. So at Challenger Middle School, we also sent out the history of um, how our district came into being, and we asked the teachers to have the students think about how what that history would look like in a representation of a poster. And then we asked the teachers of each grade level to send a representative to choose and make decisions on what poster they would like to represent five, six, seven, eight, and help me make a decision because I didn't want to do it by myself. And so these are the winning posters. And then they all ended up there. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna start out with our third place winner, which is Ashley Torres. Is she here? No. Give her a big hand. Yeah. And our second place winner is Kevin Flores. And our first place winner, Katie Vargas.
And I also brought some awards from uh, Supervisor and Potter with the software, so I'll let you go ahead and distribute it since you know who everybody is. Thank you very much.
So this is Mrs. Jones. She is a kindergarten teacher at Mrs. San Gabriel. And she's going to tell us what we'll be adding to the tube to be open in 2041. Okay, we did have a list of kindergarten standards. Because um, this is just the front half. And then there's another part to it. There's a lot in there. Um, what county not to say the number of names in standard order. And just a lot of different things. And then I also, we took up a bunch of pictures today of a day in kindergarten. And um, we have a couple of students actually leading their peers in the math meeting. Um, there's a lot of technology, they're using iPods and smart boards and computers and old fashioned key players and CD players. <laughs> um, we have some that are doing some cooperative learning and building things. Um, reading and believe me, these kids are reading. Yeah. <laughs> and um, some of them are doing art, some of them are doing right. So we have a day in the about what's happening in first grade? Okay. So the first grade teachers designed a book with writing and it's what we like to do in 2016. So each of the children drew a picture and then they wrote about it. This one is from Sabrina Olmedo and it says, I like to help my mom to clean the house. I like to go to the water park because it is the best. So these are, this is the offering from first grade. Ms. Haslam, do you want to come up and talk about second grade? So Ms. Haslam is a second grade teacher at Mrs. San Gabriel Elementary School. Hello. So we talked a lot in second grade about what we are doing for education right now and what we are using in education and we all thought of technology and so we decided to donate an iPod, um, it's broken, <laughs> but it's an iPod and um, this was our first foray into technology in the second grade um, a few years ago when the, when the students first started using it and it kind of opened their world to the world of technology. We use them every day in the classroom to take tests, to, to play educational games, and um, to look up information. They know how to do that now. So we thought this would be a great addition to the time capsule. Is there a third grade representative that wants to come up and talk about third grade? Okay. So one of the big projects that happened in third grade is a habitat report. But we also use technology. As you can see, Mrs. St. Gabriel is really into technology. So this is a habitat report. They selected two reports the children did to um, demonstrate habitat using uh, the technology that we have at Mrs. St. Gabriel. So we have two reports that will be going in from third grade. For fourth grade, I don't know if Miss Hannah wants to put it up later and people can see it before it goes in, but you can talk about what you did for fourth grade. Thank you. So for fourth grade, we made a video called A Day in the Life of a Vista San Gabriel fourth grade student. And it basically depicts a day, um, just a regular day, or supposed to be a regular day, but we actually recorded the video on a day where projects were due and a day that we were doing a lot of fun things. And so, um, I guess you can't see the video, but um, our future generation will see, yeah, it's in there. Future generations will see how fun it was to be a student at this same year. So here it says Pam, Julie, and Cindy are going to talk about fifth grade. Oh, some students. Where are the some students? Oh, awesome. Come on, next. I'm sharing. 
Hi everybody, my name is Eileen. And my name is Katie. In fifth grade, we took a survey to see what kids like. Here are the results of the top six. In number six, we have playing on the phone, which had 54 um, votes. <coughs> no, at number five, we have watch movies at 56 votes. Number four, we have playing outside with 60 votes. And at number three, we have hanging out with friends at 61 votes. And number two is playing video games with 66 votes. And the one with the highest votes is listening to music with 76 votes. Now on math. In fifth grade, the teachers taught us six methods to multiply. Some of you might know them because that what they taught then, they teach now. Now, the six methods are place value rows, shortcut, new groups below, place value sections, expanded notation, and finally, the regular way, digit to digit multiplication. that we're supposed to put in there, so I'm just putting in um, a chart of what the... Oh, okay, my bad. I'm going to put in a chart of what the... We'll take off. So, do, do we give the note cards? Because I think that will be cool to open up in 2041. Yes, thank you. Please, uh, I'll take them all. Thank you. <laughs> Wire for sixth grade, you're coming down. The sixth grade classes did a digital pen capsule. We enclosed bits of information about ourselves in the school and community. The work we live in today. The national events New England beats Seattle to take fourth Super fourth Super Bowl population the population in Lake LA is twelve thousand three hundred in two thousand thirteen. The houses cost um eight the cost the house average is eighty five thousand four hundred and two thousand fifteen. The schools there are five schools in Lake LA. Some things we share were important for events. The terrorist attack killed twelve in Paris. Seventeen point eight earthquakes in Nepal killed eight thousand. David in Greece, Queen Elizabeth ruled Great Britain for sixty three years. Canada hosts the 2015 FIFA Women's Soccer World Cup. The restaurants in 1985 won Sierra's. 2015, there are six restaurants DJ Burgers, Lost Chili's, Big Elf Pizza, MG Burgers, Donda, Mr. T's, Clothes Were Forgotten. The the cost of common items, the average of gas is two dollars and twenty-nine cents. The cost of movie tickets are ten dollars. The cost of cars is twenty-two thousand dollars. The top posted movies of 2015 and 2016 are Star Wars 7, Jurassic World, The Avengers, Age of Ultron, Inside Out, and Furious 7. The most unpopular television shows of 2015 are The Walking Dead, The Big Bang Theory, and CIS, Empire Dancing with the Stars. The top songs of the week of March 12, 2016, Classic Man, Drive Me Down, What Do You Mean, See You Again in My House. Most popular, popular video games of 2015 and 16, Minecraft, Destiny, Call of Duty, Black Ops 3, 
total to an impact man. The, sport, the sports champions are the NBA champion San Antonio Sports Bears. NHL champions are Chicago Blackhawks. The MLB champion San Francisco Giants. The Super Bowl winners are Denver Broncos. The MLS champions are the Portland Timbers. Make sure you tell her your names before you speak. Hello, my name is Ashley Vegas and I have been involved in cross country and seventh grade leadership. I am proud to be a Southern School District student because, because the teachers help me with what I need to be, what I need to become, who I want to be, and the staff are nice and fun to be around. Thanks staff and teachers for making my education experience so memorable. and I am the 7th grade leadership representative. So far I have been involved in leadership and I take pride in what I do. I am proud to be a part of Wilsona School District because they have taught me a lot. Everyone here has been beyond great and I am proud to say that I am part of the Wildcat family. Throughout the years I have been here I have never experienced any bumps in the road. This school is a long journey to success and I am proud to be in leadership. Thank you teachers for teaching me and every student above and beyond and showing us we can be whoever we want to be. Thank you staff for being nice and amazing and making the school a better place. And thank you board members for making the school and students like me a greater place and greater people. Thank you. I'm going to in that book. And so seventh and eighth grade students, um, Mrs. Banner collected all of the samples from our seventh and eighth grade English language arts. Part of the standard is for them to write multiple paragraph essays, and so this will be included, you can see from kindergarten all the way up, let me put this down. They have to be able to write in multiple paragraph essays. So here's some samples in here, I'm not gonna read it. But here's multiple paragraph essays that these students have to be able to, so for first grade, Samples of what these students have to be able to write when they leave Challenger Middle School. So we 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 graduate from iPods to Chromebooks. <laughs> so we're not gonna put Chromebooks in here because they won't end. So we have Well thank you to every our children make us proud. Can we give the students a round of applause? That we're going to, there's two more things we're going to add. The board decided that we needed to take a picture. I'm so picture happy. So we have a picture of the board, the governance team, and our names to say these who was the board at the time and the governance team at the time of the time capsule. So we'll be adding that. When we get done in a, in a few minutes, I promise we're almost done, there are some decade posters in the back. We'd like everyone who's here to go sign the decades in which you either were a student a parent, a staff member, a board member, a community member associated with the Wilsona School District. So they're all broken up into 10 years, so if you, some of you will have to, Mr. Kunkel, you're going to have to sign a lot of them. <laughs> um, but that way, then we're going to take those decade posters and roll them up and put in here to show who's here today. Um, where did Mrs. Oh, there she is. Um, Mrs. Green would like to introduce someone to you. We have another, you're all very special, but I want to make note of a special person here. Um, this is Martha Johnson, sitting right over here. She is not only a friend of mine, but a board member from Eastside School District. You think, well, why would she come? Is it just to support those of us that she knows and love? But no, she, when Wilsona didn't have the transportation, our own transportation, they, um, I guess contracted out with the agency bus drivers. So she actually was a bus driver through the agency and her husband was too for our school district in what years? I drove in the 80s, but he drove when Wilsona was one school 
and he was an east side bus driver and he only drove for three days. Oh. <laughs> you guys didn't have a bus driver. So thank you for joining us. Make sure you sign the posters also. So as we um, come together, it's going to it's going to be a wonderful opportunity for to see see friendly faces and some faces we haven't seen in a while. Like I noticed that Peggy Garrett used to be a teacher and a principal of Wilsonas here, and I just saw her. I see Sue Ruffin who used to be a teacher at this school. There's a lot of great people in the audience. I think you're all out. What a great opportunity to take some time to see some old friends. This is offered a great opportunity. Now, we weren't able to use this screen, so we have to use that screen. So you are going to have to do a little bit of work here. We have a, a Wilsona at 100 PowerPoint put together by Mr. Murray that Mr. King's going to run for us, yes, Mr. King? Is that true? In just a minute? Okay, we're going to turn off the light. So you may want to stand up and turn your chair around because this is...
Doug School is the same year in 1987. So there's no asphalt or concrete. I know, I was there. <laughs> Students were excited. The first ESG staff funding. Centennial celebration. Yes, it is. What's the highlight of it? The highlight of seeing old friends and students that are now adults and their children coming to our, back to our school and they've been here um, celebrating this. What's so wonderful about this district? It's family. It's always been family. And if you ask the majority of staff here, they'll say that's why they stay. How great. Um, how many 
many students do you have now? Uh, 1,340 at this time. Okay. We've kind of gone up and down. but. And how many schools? How many elementary we schools? We have one elementary and one middle school and then one um, alternative education, which is, yes, um, yes, has I'm currently good. 12 students. What has been your greatest joy? Being able to help the district come out of financial distress and reinstate salaries. We're starting to rebuild what used to be um, after we went through some very, very difficult times as a group. Um, and starting to see the joy and love come back into people's faces for what they do every day. Terrific. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. A hundred years. A hundred years. And you're a part of it. I've been here 30. Oh, 30? 30 years. Oh, wow. That's terrific. It's so great to see you. <laughs> okay. Is it getting ready? How great. How great. I won't be here. <laughs>